kitty walking across the yard. Is this where you're going to be recording at? Welcome to Skagville. Um, my name's Mark and I'll be showing you some of the cows today. Um, we're looking at right now a uh, the oldest Skagville High Country calf. She's a March calf and she is a daughter of Mark H. Starr II, who we'll see later. Uh, just thought I'd let you see this calf because we're awful happy with the way the high countries are looking. And she's a typical one. He definitely sires a pattern. We uh, house our cows two different ways. We're looking at now uh, preferred T. Gay, Mark H. Star, and preferred L. Gay down at the end. We'll have a closer look at them later, but this is how we house our bigger cows in this loose housing type of area. Works out really well for them. This is Mark L. Gay getting up right here in front of us. And there's Emphasis Ellie Gay laying down and Fancy, Emphasis Fancy Gay, the white cow. But this works really well. These cows are in, or go out in the morning and uh, come in the rest of the day and they're on a straight alfalfa diet. Like I say, we'll get a closer look at them a little later. I just want to show you a bit about how they're housed. Mark Ellie Gay's udder, dropping 100 pounds a day, seven months fresh. This is Emphasis Fancy Gay. She's uh, just getting ready to spring up with her third calf. She's bred to high country. She's a potential eighth generation excellent. She's 89 now. Just finished up with 37,000 pounds of milk and 3.5 protein as a second calver. Looks awfully good right now. This is a big cow. And it's Mark Elligay on the other side there. But the big cows are really comfortable in this kind of area. These are the young cows. This is our freestall area. Cows winter in here. And of course during the pasture months they're out most of the day. Again we'll get a closer look at the individual cows a little later. Just show you kind of how they're how and then Another area for the bigger cows here, and that is uh, Country Ellie Gay. Oop. Looking at us. She's been milking a long time now. It's been on a flush program. We're getting her bred back now. But again, we'll get a good look at her later on. The mother of High Country and Ellie's Pride. But these areas really work well for these bigger cows. She's rooms here with uh, Grand Elegay. He's over getting clipped now, but this is Grand Elegay right here. She 
She's been milking about six weeks with her second calf, about 120 a day. She scored 87 right now, but hopefully we'll get another couple on her. This is, of course, the daughter of old Ellie Gay, and the maternal sister to country Ellie Gay and Mark Ellie Gay. This is Skagville Country Ellie Gay. She's Skagville Countryman daughter. She's excellent 95 and the mother of High Country and Ellie's Pride and preferred Ellie Gay, who we'll see a little later on. She just finished a 34,000 pound record. She's been milking about almost 14 months now. We just had a couple Raider calves born from her and have uh, preferreds and counts and black knights still to be born. Just getting her bred back now to carry. And this is Big Cow. She's almost 64 inches. And assisted to Grand Elegate, a cow we just saw. Made over 110,000 in her lifetime now, and been champion at our state show in '93 and '94. This is Skagville Emphasis Ellie Gay. She's uh, Skagville Emphasis daughter. Milking on her second calf since March. She was first four-year-old and reserve grand champion up at BC Spring Show in March and was first four-year-old and grand champion at the Washington State Olstein Show in July. And she's right around that 63-inch area. As a two-year-old, she made 26,000 pounds of milk with 3-4 protein and can do a little better this time. Her mother is Cassie Elligay, who is a maternal sister to country Elligay. We have daughters by countrymen and implants by inclusion. We've just bred her back to carry now again. Here's another shot of Grand Ellie Gay, shot of her rear udder. Country Ellie Gay. This is Skagville Preferred Ellie Gay. She's going to come say hello. She's the daughter of Country Ellie Gay. by Skagville Preferred. She's fresh about two weeks with her second calf. She had a red heifer calf for us. She's milking 110 pounds a day. 
we have uh, I think six full sisters or brother pregnancies coming and six more eggs to put in. This is a big cow so she's over 63 inches. She was all washed in a three year old last year and was second up at the BC Spring Show as a four year old to Emphasis Elegay we just saw. Still preferred Ellie Gay. Like I say she just fresh two weeks, so she needs a little bit more time, but I think she could be as good as her mother someday. This is Skagville Mark H. Star the second. She's close to eight years old now. She's a walkway chief Mark daughter. Her mother is uh, Hattie Star, who was excellent and made 329,000 in her lifetime. She's just made the biggest record. You're seeing here milking almost two years. She's on an extended ET program. Uh, she made 44,000, over 44,000 pounds of milk and now has over 160,000 pounds in her lifetime. She has daughters by Browndale Stardust in High Country, um, who one of her daughters was the first one we saw here on the video. Carnation Counselor, Skagville Preferred. Tremendous milk cow. She's still milking 70 pounds a day. The black cow is uh, Skagvale preferred T gay. Mark H. Star scored 91. This cow is also 91. She's on her fourth calf. Fresh probably six months now. She's going to make a nice big record. She's going to be well over 30,000 this year. She's a uh, Skagwell preferred daughter, actually. Had an old tempo gay. Oops, she's getting kind of close here. See her walking away. Mark H. Star, by the way, is the mother of our most recent herd sire, Skagwell Star Master, a red factor preferred son. She's also the mother of. Skagville Balance. Preferred T. Gay is uh, the mother of Skagville Dancer, who's a junior herd sire. We flushed her twice this lactation and she made 10 number one eggs by Black Knight and 21 by Ellie's Pride. We've got a lot of those implanted and plan on raising another son of her. She's been a real favorite here. Really a quality cow. Arcade star. No way. Let's another look at preferred Ellie Gay. Really a tremendous young cow. I really love this cow. Tremendous power and stature. And she's had the red heifer calf, so hope to get a red bull from her someday. Preferred Ellie Gay again from the other side. Fresh two weeks. Preferred T Gay in the background there. This is Emphasis Ellie Gay again. This is probably my favorite. If you had to ask me, if I had to pick one, <laughs> which wouldn't be easy, but she 
so big yet she got so much style. That's Emphasis Fancy Gay there next to her and Mark Ellie Gay. Alright there. Mark Ellie Gay is of course another Chief Margotter out of the old Ellie Gay. And she is uh made thirty one thousand pounds as a junior two year old. Gonna make oh, close to forty as a three year old. Emphasis Elegay has sons now in three different states, states um, using use as herd sires. I think Pennsylvania, Indiana, and uh, Michigan, I think. A bit of a look at the pasture. That's my dad's house at the end there. We're out with the young cows now. Um, kind of take you through them a little bit. See kind of what we're looking at here. Sorry if I'm bobbing around a little bit. This cow is a first calver. It's a Puget Sound Prince. She's out of a countryman daughter. Milked up to over 80 pounds a day as a two year old. Mother's very good and a very good valiant. White heifer is a countryman, two year old. Uh, her mother is Golden Hattie. Next to him is Precious Hattie. She's uh, milked up to close to 80 pounds a day as a two year old. She's a super udder. She has a flush mate sister out here, we'll see. The next heifer down is a is a Hanover Hill Starbuck, uh, out of Cassie Elegay. She's a two-year-old. This is a Starbuck again. She's milked up in the upper 70s. Um, the young heifer. Really a beautiful front-ended heifer. This heifer is a uh, flush mate to the pretty white heifer we just saw. Countryman out of Golden Hattie. There she is again. This has always been one of my favorites. Milked up to close to 90 pounds a day as a two year old. This is uh, Skagville Emp Elegay. This is a full sister to Emphasis Elegay, the big cow we saw in the other barn. She's been champion at a couple shows. She's a March heifer, so fairly young. Smoked up to 90 pounds a day. Here she is again. Her dam would be Cassie Elegay. Same as the Starbuck. This, is, this and the Starbuck are maternal sisters. Ellie Gay family. She's been so good. Again, this heifer, give her a year or two. She'll be off to good. This is another emphasis daughter. She's from our Hattie family. This heifer's been milking a long time. She's a daughter of country G Hattie. Next time will be Golden Hattie. Next time will be Precious Hattie. She's going to make close to 30000 as a two-year-old. This is Midnight Vale walking away from us. She's a Deslux Midnight. She's a second caver. She's a maternal sister of Skagville Countryman. She's the last daughter of the old colony Maxine Cow. She's just three years old. Milking 92 pounds a day on her second test. Super high components. 3.8 protein. Again, one of my favorites. 
Not quite as big as some of the rest of our cows, but really a super, super udder. This is a, an easy choice daughter. She's a second calver. She's the daughter of Golden Hattie as well, my damn precious Hattie. She milked up to 100 pounds a day as a second calver. She scored very good. Again, we're scoring today, so we don't have any new scores on these cows, but we will hopefully tomorrow. We'll take, take a look at them out in the pasture. This is a big red heifer that we've got, and this is the July heifer, so she's just two years old. She's a brown Dale Sir Christopher from our Savenna family. Her mother is uh, Precious Savenna, 87.3 year old. Next dam would be old preferred Savenna, the 93 point preferred daughter. I have high hopes for this heifer. She's going to be big. This is Skegville. Choice Midnight Hattie. Not this one, the one in the back. Smoking a year now. Due in spring again, so she shouldn't show herself off too good right now. But beautiful udder in this cow. This is a daughter of Midnight Hattie. Um, and the maternal sister to Count and Black Knight. Super high component cow. Finished with over 20,000 as a junior three year old. There's my sister Carolyn, man in the fork. We have one Sir Christopher pregnancy from this cow. She's bred to Ellie's pride. The cow in the front here is the, the oldest Emphasis daughter. Milking our third calf. This is Emphasis Gay. She's milking 115 pounds a day. Made 33,000 as a three year old and 26,000 as a two year old. She scored very good. The next cow in is, is Country Savannah. She's a countryman daughter, first calver. She's a daughter of uh, preferred Savannah. Super high component cow, that countryman. Smoked actually quite well. The spotted cow is an easy choice. She's from our Hattie family. She scored very good as a two-year-old and making a really good record. Hooked up to 85 pounds a day as a two-year-old. Typical easy choice udder. This next cow, whoop, this is the only sophisticate in the herd. She's a member of the Hattie family as well. She's a first caver. Her mother is Golden Hattie. Next dam would be Precious Daddy. Golden Daddy has, I think, four milking daughters in the herd now. Sheffers milk quite well also. It's around 80 pounds a day. And we look at the countryman out of Savannah. Tremendous width in this countryman. The next heifer here is a Skagville Superpower from our Savannah family. Her mother is Gold Savannah, 91 point cow. Next dam would be preferred Savannah. Talking as a two year old, she's hasn't peaked as high as some of our other two year olds, but has held in real well at about 75 pounds. A good illustration of what Easy Choice or Superpower, excuse me, can do here with the rump structure. This is the oldest superpower. This is Skagville Super Sadie. She's been milking 14 months. Due again in November, so she's about 60 days off now. But she's pretty hefty right now. But again, a typical superpower rump. Super rear rudder. 
This is a big cow. She'll have to come inside and she calves next time. She made 28,000 as a second calver, 3.5 protein. Her mother is Precious Sadie, XL92. Next dam is Influence Sadie, XL92. Both cows with over 200,000 a lifetime. And her mother is still alive over at Bill Stolfus in Idaho. We're getting a few calves at her yet. This cow is a Puget Sound Provost daughter from my gay family. She's a second calver. This cow is actually owned by some friends in Holland. We house her here. Typical Provost daughter, really. Oh, you can do that. That's Midnight Vale right there. Easy choice. Sophisticate. Oh, excuse me, Superpower. There's the Sophisticate. This is uh, Emphasis Ellie Gay again. The younger one, number two. Country Hattie. This is, I really love this cow. Quality. She's bred to Ransdale Conclusion. The first one will be fresh to him. Then her full sister. Those are the two flesh mates right there. They're both bred to Conclusion now. And the Starbucks there on the end. Countryman. Countryman. Emphasis. Here's the Sir Christopher bred heifer. She's bred to Black Knight. We really like the calves from. Big strong calves, great loins, great rumps. And the Starbuck. Again. Shepherd's really grown in the last couple months. She's gonna be a good sized cow. There's the two flush mates again. This is our next heifer to calve. This is a countryman out of an emphasis. The oldest emphasis that was down on the end that we saw a little earlier. This is her daughter by countryman. And this is a big, big bugger. She's due in two weeks. Or a week, I guess. This is uh, Legion Meadows Echo. She calved yesterday. A heifer calf. So it isn't looking maybe her best right now, but 4% proteiner. This is uh, a Skaggo Explosion daughter. Boy, we only had a couple daughters from. She's a decent kind of heifer, milking as a first calver, up in the 70s. She actually carried an embryo for us, first time around. Decent kind of another there. Yep, visitors. And this is the countryman again. Well, you've seen now every single milking female on this farm. So tomorrow hopefully we'll get a look at them out on the pasture with their new classification scores because they score in about 30 minutes. This is my fitting crew. Chris Paginski. Doug Nyfong right there. <laughs> Carolyn Bird Tennyson right there. They're responsible for 
Getting the cows looking good around here. Okay, we're back and it's the next day now. We classified last night and I thought I'd just kind of run them through and tell you how some of them did. It's kind of a rainy day. I'd hope to have them out on the pasture today, but we'll do the best we can. This is a Grand Elegue. And she went from 87 to excellent 90. The Grand Elegue is a 60 inch cow that's standing next to Country Elegue. It doesn't look like it. Country Elegue, the cow in the back, remained at 95. Two maternal sisters. Emphasis Ellie Gay. Class part was Willis Guns from Wisconsin. Uh, this is Emphasis Ellie Gay, and she went excellent 93 as a second caver. Willis said she was the first second caver he'd ever made 93 points. White Cow, Emphasis Fancy Gay. She was 89, and of course he left her there. She's ready to calve in about three weeks. Mark Elligay went from 90 to 91. Another maternal sister to Country Elligay and Grand Elligay. So that makes four excellent daughters for Old Elligay now. With when Grand went up, Grand Elligay went excellent. Okay, preferred Ellie Gay. Fresh two weeks, she went excellent 92. Willis said she was only the fourth second cavalry to ever made 92. And she's just starting to really start coming into her own now, getting some body back. Really starting to milk. They said she's about 115 pounds right now. Okay, this is preferred T. Gay. She was 91 and remained there. We kind of hope she might get a point, but we're happy. And Mark H. Starr, the second, stayed at. 91, been milking two years. This is the mother of Star Master and Balance. Take a leap. Bird Dog, my sister. And Emphasis Fancy Gay. Emphasis LEA again. And you're seeing them this morning with not very much milk in the udders. So. She is now 93 points. Here comes preferred Ellie. Okay, since it's kind of rainy today, we had the cows out back in the orchard. This is Super Sadie. She remained at 90 points, ready to calve in 60 days. This is the Puget Town Provost that is owned by our friends in Holland. She scored very good 88 with an excellent memory. It's her first time she's been scored. Emphasis Gay went up a point from 85 to 86. Scored her 94 points in dairy. 
super milk cow. Cow is a country Savannah, countryman out of preferred Savannah. She went very good 86. And she went very good right across the board. This is the explosion out of the gay family. She went 83 points. This is the Puget Sound Prince daughter. She went very good 87. Okay, this is the Starbuck out of Cassie Gay, maternal sister to the new 93 point cow. She made her 84. Thought she had a chance to go 85, but can't complain too much on her. She's uh, just starting to really grow and take off. Next cow behind her went 85. She's an emphasis out of Country G Hattie. Next stands Golden Hattie and then Precious Hattie. Yeah, this is Super Savannah. Made her very good 85. She's been milking for a while, so starting to put on a little weight. And this is the full sister to the 93 point cow. This is M. Feligay. Made her 83 points today, or yesterday. Okay, this is the Sophisticate out of Golden Hattie. She went from 83 to 85. Again, she's been milking for quite a while. She's due to count this spring. This is the easy choice from the Hattie family as well. She went very good 85. First calf. She's bred the Black Knight due in the spring. Beautiful uttered cow. Been milking a while again. I think she's one of our favorite young cows. Big cow. Gonna be a really big cow. And some biscuits in the background. This is the easy choice from the rear. And this width in her. And the sophisticate. Here's Midnight Veil. Vale. She's second caver. She went very good 88 with an excellent man when he got raised from 85 to 88. We're real happy with that. She's really got another. You can see. Not quite as big as maybe some of the other cows. Milk and 92 pounds, I think she had on her second test. Last daughter, old colony Maxine. This is Countryman out of Golden Hattie. She won very good 86 as the first caver. She won a high She's got one. Starbuck again.
and the countryman. Say she's a countryman out of Golden Hattie. She went 86. This is the Sir Christopher bred heifer, due in about 60 days. This is Choice Mid Hattie, daughter of Midnight Hattie. She, of course, is really stale, so stayed at 88. Midnight Vale. Okay, this is the flush mate to the pure white countryman we, we saw just a few minutes ago. This is countryman out of Golden Hattie. She went very good 86 on her first calf. Okay, this is Easy Choice Hattie. She's an Easy Choice out of Golden Hattie. She went from 85 to 87. She's the second caver now. Really happy with the way she's come along. Midnight Veil. Vale. Really like this cow. Just let the cows in, get ready for the milking. Walk down the line. There's the prints and an emphasis, the explosion, midnight veil. That's the sophisticate out of Golden Hattie. Easy choice out of Midnight Hattie. You just held Provost. Emphasis, another emphasis. This is the countryman out of preferred Savannah, an 86, two year old. Countryman out of Golden Hattie. Christopher Heifer. Starbuck from Cassie Elligay. A countryman Springer. It's due in about three days. Starbuck again. Uh, easy choice from the Hattie. Country, the other 
sister country out of Golden Hattie. Countryman. And Super Sadie. And Country Ellie Gay. That's Grand Ellie Here's kind of a look at our pastures down below. Really kind of wet this week. Those are our all our bread heifers down there. Most of them are carrying eggs, or grade heifers carrying eggs. And our newest, my dad's newest venture, you can see them, Herefords, <laughs> I have a few of those. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the look at the cows. I hope you've been able to see them. I'm not a professional photographer, but hopefully you got a good look at them. We uh, welcome your phone calls or inquiries. And if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to talk to you. Here the big cows are coming in. Carolyn's getting them in. For Delegay. Here comes the older two cows, Star and T. Gay. <laughs> 